Hey, this is Vim Hot Tips and Tricks. My name is Josh Branshaw. In this episode, we're going to look at incrementing and decrementing a sequence. First, let's say we are trying to quickly whip together a list, say, of our top five books of 2019. Moving down here, I'll yank this first list item and puts it four times to create a list of five items. Now, we might be tempted to go through and manually increment the index of each item. That can get tedious, and there's a better way. Instead, let's create a visual block of the indexes of the four new list items using Control-V. Then by hitting G, Control-A, each row is incremented one more than the previous, and we have our list numbering. Keep in mind that this isn't powered by some plugin. This feature comes out of the box with Vim. As another example, let's say we want to create our top five list in reverse order. Starting with number five, we can again yank and puts four new list items. Creating another visual block selection with Control-V, we can hit G, Control-X, and that decrements each line one more than the line before, leaving us with our countdown. From here, we could start filling in our favorites, but I'll let you tell me about that on Twitter. As another example, let's look at generating some test data. Let's say we need to create an array of key value hashes to run through a procedure we are about to implement. We can again yank and put to create a list with several items. In the same way as before, we can visually select and increment these index values. Now we need to do the same for these test strings in order to differentiate them. We make a block visual selection and hit G Control A. And nothing happens. That's because the NR formats option doesn't include alpha. Taking a peek at the value real quick, we can see it's set to only bin and hex. So let's append alpha to the NR formats option with a set command. Now, making the same visual selection and hitting G Control A, our sequence of letters is incremented alphabetically. That's it for the episode. Check out the help files for more details. And hit subscribe to stay in the loop on upcoming Vim hot tips and tricks.